Todd Bancroft Peterson was on his way to making a wonderful life for himself when everything flipped upside down. Todd was born to Michael and his first wife, Patricia Patty Sue, and he was named after his grandfather. The graduate of North Carolina State University had effectively become an entrepreneur by starting a website that focused on different issues directed toward teenagers. But he was also taking advantage of his 20s and having fun. Therefore, it should not have come as a surprise when he was at a party on the tragic evening of December 2001, only to discover police vehicles and ambulances when he returned home with friends in the early morning hours of the following day. According to the official records and the miniseries, once Todd saw sight of his stepmother's corpse on that fateful night, he was less than helpful with the investigators. Instead, he focused on his father and his friends. It is reported that he continued to communicate with them despite being expressly warned not to do so, and he subsequently declined to offer an official statement on his parents, their relationship, or the tragic night in question. According to the original story that aired on HBO Max, Michael's brother Bill, who is an attorney, had encouraged Todd not to go on record since it had become clear very quickly that the authorities were investigating Kathleen's murder as a homicide. As a result, when the time came for the legal processes, Todd not only helped in every way that he could during the preparatory phase, but he also assumed the position of the man of the house in the Peterson family. In addition to this, he consistently showed his father his unshakable support in both public and private situations, all the while expanding his professional career as a sales, marketing and entrepreneurial specialist. Although Todd had quite a lot on his plate over the course of a few short years, he managed to miss very few court dates or public appearances in his attempts to show Michael's innocence, at least up until the latter's final plea of guilty to the Alford charge in 2017. Welcome to Bad Things. In this video, we look at Todd Peterson and his explosive new claims about his father, the infamous Michael Peterson. Michael and Kathleen were the only ones at home that night. Both of them had been drinking, and it seems as if that played a role in the family's belief that her death was an accident rather than anything more sinister. Written in blood, a true story of murder and a deadly 16-year-old secret that tore a family apart is a book written by Diane Fanning about the case. In the book, Todd is cited as telling authorities, they both drink heavily. If you want my opinion, they were probably shit-faced and she fell. Michael Peterson's first marriage was to elementary school teacher Patricia Patty Sue Peterson. They were married in 1965, settled in Durham, North Carolina, and had two children, Clayton and Todd Peterson. They subsequently went to Germany, where Patty Peterson taught elementary school for the United States Department of Defense for 35 years. They divorced in the early 1990s after separating in the 1980s. Their two sons first lived in Germany with their mother before moving to Durham with their father. During Michael Peterson's murder trial, Patty Peterson was not only his emotional and financial support, but she also thought he was innocent until her death. She is featured repeatedly in The Staircase on HBO Max and throughout The Staircase on Netflix, supporting her boys. According to their son Clayton Peterson, Michael and Patricia lived as companions from 2019 to 2021. Patricia Peterson died of a heart attack at the age of 78 in July 2021. Patricia Peterson's death opened up an old wound in Todd Peterson that has shocked everyone still following the staircase murder, Death Case. According to a report in a newspaper based in Raleigh, Todd lives in Tennessee. Little is known about his personal life, although he often posts facelift updates, conspiracy theories, and conservative opinions on Instagram. In his profile, he describes himself as the president and creator of America Industries, which, according to the site's description, seems to be a website dedicated to buying numerous website domains in order to control the internet's infrastructure. For instance, he promises he would construct the world's premier online education institution 
under a single domain, with tuition restricted at $10 per month for people of the majority of nations. For another domain, he claims to be constructing a global Jesus network, with a presence in over 100 countries. In an Instagram post dated 5th of May 2022, he railed against the Black Lives Matter movement and evil Democrats. Although these claims seem out there, Todd would top all these statements with a social media rant that has put a new spin on the ever-present staircase case. Except for Caitlin Atwater, the majority of Michael and Kathleen's children gathered behind the patriarch to support him throughout the trial. However, Todd Peterson changed his mind in December 2021. In a YouTube video, he stated that Michael Peterson is a serial killer who murdered his first and second wives. Before the HBO documentary The Staircase, Todd released a video accusing Michael of killing Patricia, his mother. I'm about to call the cops on my father for murdering my mother, Todd says in a video from December 2021. Just now today realized the motivation, money, he added. The second part of Todd's video is an account of his journey to sobriety. In addition to this, he clarifies how he was able to find out that his father is a serial killer. According to Todd, when Patricia passed away, his father stole money from a joint account, as well as other items that he did not have the legal right to take. The next statement that Todd makes is, he doesn't want me to call the cops on him. After withdrawing the remaining funds from their joint account, Todd expected that his father would send him nasty messages in response to his behavior. If his hypotheses about his father's responses were correct, he said, it's probably fair to say other things, hinting to the possibility of murder. I never thought my dad would kill Kathleen or my mom because I didn't think he would hurt his family members. I needed my own personal experience where he tried to hurt me and ruin my life. To see nothing would prevent him from doing anything. Todd added, although not elaborating on how Michael Peterson tried to ruin his life. Following the release of The Staircase on Netflix, the owl theory caused a shift in perspective on Kathleen's death and the Michael Peterson investigation for a number of viewers. The viewpoint that Todd took also shifted, and he now maintains that he does not think his father is innocent. Todd says in the video, This man should spend the rest of his life in jail. And if we can't convict him in court, that's why I have this video, so I can convict him in the court of public opinion, whether it's TikTok or Facebook or Instagram, but this guy's a monster. I can't believe I'm going to call the cops father, man. As can be expected, the internet jumped on these statements with countless discussions of his sudden turnaround on his father's innocence. Is there any substance to his claims, though? A post on his Instagram feed made it very clear that he suspected his father of murdering all three women that he was close to throughout his life. This post backfired in the most spectacular way, as only the internet can, when your past behavior is picked up by the drama-loving masses. The backlash was immediate and brutal. Because of controversial earlier posts, his big reveal was seen as a psychotic breakdown, making his claims hard to believe. He claims he survived assassination attempts, that COVID is a hoax, some white supremacy posts he will brag about his Corvette, and that he is white and rich. One Redditor spent hours watching and listening to his post and transcribing it for the thread. When reading the transcript, the erratic and at times incoherent behavior becomes more apparent. Despite the rambling statements, one Reddit contributor hit the nail on the head with their assessment. Michael Peterson was present at all three women's deaths. The Michael Peterson case just keeps on getting weirder as the years go by. Could Todd be misdirecting public opinion on a fringe theory that suggests he killed Kathleen? Who's to say Michael's son Todd didn't murder Kathleen and then leave the scene of the crime? There could have been stepmother, stepson drama that wasn't disclosed. His alibi was that he was at a party with a female friend, but as far as I'm aware, there's no concrete evidence that he was actually there. Given that Kathleen's blood was dry by the time Michael called the police, 
Todd could have even killed her, cleaned himself up, and then gone to the party as if nothing happened. Several contributors have theories on Todd being Kathleen's killer. Or could this be a very damaged man whose family has been in the world spotlight for close to 22 years? Maybe with his psychotic break, the lies told over many years have come to the surface.